Agent Trinity? What? We just got a message from Teresa. She says she has a new clue for us. This is the first square, we're in the first square. Mm -hmm. We go to the second square, the second and then square. we move into the third room. Okay, move into the third room. Okay, so is that the clue that you promised us? This is the clue. That's That's it's a ninja so nervous, she's eating her badge. Don't eat your badge, baby. <laughs> 1959, never forget secrets of the deep wood. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think you're gonna need help. I think we're gonna need help too. Maybe you could help us. Yes, there's thousands of you all around the world. Is that what you were thinking? Yep. What is up, adventure agents? Agent Tex here. I just got a message from someone and you are not gonna believe this. I think that we are back on the D.B. Cooper case. For those of you who are new here, we are adventure agents. What is an adventure agent, you might ask? You might be an adventure agent and you don't even know it. Adventure agents love adventure. So if you love adventure, well, you are an adventure agent too. I was just up here in the mountains of the Pacific Northwest, and I was doing some research for a nature mystery that I want to try and solve at some point in the near future. And while I was up here, I drove to this spot right here, and there's a cell tower right over there, and I get good signal, and I got a message from Teresa. Teresa agents! Some of you may not know who Teresa is. She was the beginning of our quest to find and solve the D.B. Cooper mystery. Some of you may be asking, Agent Tex, Who's D.B. Cooper? Some of you may know who he is. For those of you who don't, I'm gonna get you caught up on the D.B. Cooper case that we've been trying to solve for the past year. All right, agents, let's get you caught up so you can help us solve the D.B. Cooper case. The D.B. Cooper mystery is a real mystery and it is one of the most famous unsolved FBI mysteries of all time. On the afternoon before Thanksgiving in 1971, a man calling himself Dan Cooper boarded a plane headed from Portland, Oregon to Seattle, Washington. He was wearing a dark suit and a black tie. While in the air, he opened a briefcase he was carrying and handed a note to a flight attendant named Tina. The note stated that in the briefcase was a bomb and that he was hijacking the plane. The plane landed shortly after in Seattle and everyone safely exited. Dan Cooper asked for four parachutes and $200,000 cash, all of which the FBI got him really quickly. The plane took off and started to head towards Reno, but somewhere just before Portland, Oregon, Dan Cooper jumped out of the plane with the cash and two of the parachutes. The Army sent in nearly 1,000 troops to scour the entire forest area around where they think Dan Cooper landed but they didn't find a single thing. Nine years later, in 1980, just north of Portland, Oregon, on a place called Tina Bar on the Columbia River, a young boy found the only true evidence left by D.B. Cooper that anyone has ever seen. He found $5,800 of confirmed by serial number D.B. Cooper $20 bills. What an incredible find for such a young boy. So agents, fast forward to the spring of 2019. Me, Agent Tex, Agent Axe, and Agent Rex found a safe inside of an abandoned school bus that our neighbor Al had sitting on his land that he let us break into. Inside of that safe, we found the first clue that set us on the course to the D.B. Cooper case. That clue led us to Teresa for the first time, and she gave us a big suitcase that had another clue that sent us to a tower inside of an old fort called Fort Vancouver. 
and inside of that fort, we found a clue with half of a $20 bill with the serial number cut out. Once we started digging into the case of D.B. Cooper and we started thinking of suspects, our neighbor Al actually ended up being a top suspect. He fit the bill perfectly. He retired right around the time that D.B. Cooper did the deed and jumped out of the plane with the cash and he lives right near the drop zone in a cabin in the middle of the woods off the grid that he built by himself, agents. And since then, we've been following clue after clue after clue after clue. We went deep into the woods, tested our theory to see if D.B. Cooper could have landed in the lake nearby and walked all the way to Al's cabin. We got a safe from an ice cream shop and broke into it. We met up with another professional agent, Agent Elvis, who showed us one of the real $20 bills that the boy found on Tina Bar so long ago. And then we decided to go to Tina Bar, the place where the money was found to see if we could find any more clues. And we also found a fish hanging from a tree that had a note on it that said, beware of the deep wood. And that very same fish we found hanging up inside of a shed, an abandoned shed on Tina Bar. Then we were sent to an abandoned island in the middle of a lake where we dug up a giant safe and we used a custom flamethrower to try to break into the safe. And inside of the safe agents, we found a lot of $20 bills. You'll have to go back and watch the old mystery to figure out what ended up happening there. All in all, we still haven't completely solved the case. And the last clue that we found told us that it wasn't over and that the deep wood holds secrets. Wow, what an exciting mystery to solve. And uh, it left us hanging. What does that last clue mean? I don't know, agents, but this message that we just got from Teresa might give us a clue to get back into the game. I gotta go get my partners, though. Agent Axe and Agent Trinity and Agent and Ninja. That's my wife and my kids. Some of you already know them. They are so awesome. They're so good at solving mysteries. Come along, let's go and find them and get to solving this mystery. I'm here at the Temporary Adventure Agents HQ office. Let's go see if Agent Axe is in here. Agent Axe! Light on. Don't think he's in here. Agent Axe! Agent Axe! He might be down at the house a little bit further down there. I'm gonna go find him and bring him up here. Okay, agents, I found Agent Axe. Agent Axe, I have something that I think you will be very interested in. We got a message from someone. Agents, Teresa here from the First Street Antiques in Kalama. Kalama where? Kalama, Washington. I've been following your progress with the D.B. Cooper case. I'm impressed with the progress you have made. I wasn't expecting you to get this far. I've been in the business for a long time and I've never worked with kid agents up until now. I was skeptical about handling handing you that chest with the clues after you brought the fan that you found from the school bus in. As you may recall, I had washed my hands of that mystery and decided not to continue with it after giving it to you. Agents, many people have washed their hands of the D.B. Cooper case. Many people, including the FBI. They said we're done and they put all the files away, agents. They quit and it sounds like Teresa had too. Watching you do such a fantastic job and making so much progress solving the mystery got me excited about the prospect of actually solving the D.B. Cooper case. I have a proposition for you and all the agents around the world who watch your show and work with you. That's you and us. I have a new clue that might shed some light on the case. However, you must complete some training first. Come to my antique store as soon as possible. Bring your agent badges. P.S. 
be sure to bring the last D.B. Cooper clue you found along. I believe it is connected to the new clue I have for you. The last clue, it's in here somewhere. Here's this, here's wait, the map wait, look, here. Look, I think I found it. Oh, oh, careful, be very careful. This is it, yep. This is the last clue that we found, agents. Can you read it again so everyone can hear it? It's kind Jumping of Jumping airplanes, you've made it so far. Am I the real Cooper or just Tina Barr? When PM says it's over, don't you forget. The deep woods hold secrets. Just look closer yet. P.S. Don't spend all the cash in, in one place. Ha ha ha. So we don't know, Agents. We don't know what's going on, but this was the last clue we found. Let's go get Agent Trinity and Agent Aninja, and let's head to the First Street Antiques in Today? Florida. Might as well. Wait a minute. This fan is Agent cool. Axe, you need to bring your badge. Put it on your neck right now so we don't forget, okay? Because it said to bring your badge, and we don't want to forget that. Wait a minute, what did you just say? We need to make Teresa. Yes! Just like we uh, had our neighbor Al, who we think is D.B. Cooper, uh, join us in our mystery after. solving, we could get Teresa to join us and be an adventure agent with us. Sounds like she already is. Now let's go get Agent Trinity. Okay, agents, so here is the wonderful Agent Trinity. Hi! Agent Trinity is one of the best agents <laughs> on our team. She is amazing. Agent Trinity? What? We just got a message from Teresa. She says she has a new clue for us for the D.B. Cooper mystery. A new clue? Yes. Are yes. you serious? I know, I'm so excited. Are you I'm tricking so, me? No, I'm not. I'm oh, not. She what? sent us a message. Now, this is Agent Ninja right here. Agent Ninja has not been a part of a lot of the D.B. Cooper stuff because some of it gets pretty intense. So, Agent Trinity, do what I do you think? Do you think this is a bit too tense? We, we are going to go do I some don't. training, though, she says, to get the clue. I don't know what that training will involve. It might be kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Do you it think you guys should like, come? Or? Um, since River's name is Agent Ninja, it might involve, like, ninja training stuff, like a bunch of swinging pillars, and I you like have to, that. like, dodge. That'd be machetes. cool. Let me see a ninja kick. Let's see. Oh, nice. <laughs> ninja punch. a long way to go before we we're actual ninjas. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, Agent Ninja? Can we give it a shot? Do you want us girls to go too? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think she can go? I say we can get it a try, but if it gets too dangerous... Then we'll leave, okay? We'll, you and we'll I will to, leave. They'll have to it's leave, okay? You well, it looks like we got two more agents coming with us! Agent Ninja, Agent Trinity 2, Teresa said to bring our agent badges. <gasps> oh, we have to have our agent badges okay. Teresa won't know So we need we to go are. find your agent badges and let's head to Teresa to the antique store and see if we could do this challenge, okay? All right, we'll see you there. Oh, Ow. shoot. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. Let's <laughs> knock Agent Axe out. All right. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do our training if I knock All him out. Right. <laughs> We're here at First Street Antiques. Let's go in and see Teresa. And let's check out what this training's all about. Come on, let's go. All right. You ready, Agent Trinity? I'm ready. What about you, Agent Ninja? Yeah. Agent Ninja, she's got your badge check. Okay, you got your adventure pack. It's kind of loud. There's a freeway right here. You got your badge, Agent Trinity? Yes, Agent Trinity. Yeah. On the case. All right. Hello. Where's Teresa? Hey. Well, hi. Teresa. We heard that you had uh, some kind of training for us. Maybe yeah, a do you? <gasps> oh my goodness, you yeah, have a turkey! Oh, is it a here or her? Badges? We do, yeah. We do have our badges. Oh, yeah, we gotta show our badges. Okay, Let's here's my badge. Them. Okay. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright, All right. Agent Trinity. That's Agent Trinity. Alright. Agent Ninja. Alright. Oops. <laughs> okay, I have a clue, but in order for me to give it to you, I have to make sure you are all worthy, because I can't give it to you unless you can prove to me that uh, you're onto this, because I've been following you, you know. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been doing really, really good. You think so? Yeah, I do. Yes. And I think it's about time for you to take a step further because I'm kind of at a standstill myself. What well, do we have to do to, to prove to you that we can handle this clue? I'll give each of the parents one of those. Okay, let's take this over here and, and read what it says. Let me know 
No. Okay, we will. Thank you. Okay, agents. So, it says, Agents, this training is for you to prove you're ready for the new D.B. Cooper clue I have for you. The antiques are old objects that are full of mystery. Each item has a history and a unique story behind it. They are clues to the past and what once was. Who knows, maybe some of these old antiques were used by the man behind D.B. Cooper. Attached is a map of my antique store that is separated into five sections. In each section is an old mysterious object we will call D.B. Cooper clues. Find all five clues in order using the room riddles. Take a photo of each item you think matches the riddle. Bring the photos once you have found all five and I will check your work. <gasps> okay. Was that this printed is so on a typewriter? Awesome. It looks oh, like it was, it was printed on an old fashioned typewriter. See that writing? So, so cool. nothing is in any of the cases. Okay, none of the cases, okay. And after you found all five of them, bring them up to me. Okay. And I'll check. All right, so we'll but take pictures of them. Don't move it. Don't move it, okay. Yeah, we so have to be careful. A lot of these items are fragile, and if we break them, they lose their value. Okay, agents, so this is the map right here. It's divided into one, two, three, four, five sections and there's one clue for each section oh, okay agent axe can you read the riddle for section one tighten the bolts to measure the volts as time elapses watch as the dial passes tighten the bolts and to watch. measure the volts as time elapses watch as the dial passes watch okay look around agents oh here's a clock but what about the other part that it says oh, we need help agents i wish you all could be here to help us Man, it'd be so great if we had many, many minds working on this. Guess we're gonna have to make do with Ford. I think we should stay. Oh, oh, no, that's a light. No, I, I know how to organize everything. What we're going to do is first, we're going to cover that room. Okay, that's a great idea. Let's do this. Agent Trinity and Agent Ninja, you go around this way, and we will go around this way. We Let's are the Vikings. Oh, look, it's one of those canoes. Wow, that's an outrigger canoe. That is so cool. Hi! Oh, she's already over here. Hey! <laughs> okay, agents, let's see here. Uh, tighten the bolts to measure the volts. Keys. Tighten the bolts. Bolts. To bolts. measure bolts. the bolts. Bolts. Oh, keys. Wait, but look at this. Bolts. Oh, what about bolts? Electricity, agents. A clock and electricity. What were those two things mixed together? Daddy. What did you find? <gasps> it's a baby. It's a real baby. What are you doing back here? Where's your mother? Where's the baby's mother, River? It looks like he's oh my goodness. It looks like It's such a cute little look. baby. Get you, get you, get you. Oh, that's not real. That's not a real baby. Oh my goodness. It that... looks, look, it looks like it's <laughs> punching something. It looks like it's punching something. <laughs> it does look like a real baby. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look at this. There's a dial on it. There, yeah. Bolts, diagnostic lights, American optical uh, current transformer. A current bolts. Bolts. Bolts and bolts. bolts. There's there's voltage. A transformer that has to do with voltage. I think it transformer steps up and down voltage. I think that's what it does. Hmm. Mm. There's some more stuff here. Oh, there's some lamps. Oh, there's some kind of a time deal here. Oh, what is it? Agents, I don't know what to do. I'm D.B. Cooper. <laughs> Whoa. I put my glasses down. Thank you for finding them. They're Teresa. too dark in here. I definitely need to take these off. So how do we know if this item that we found is... Well, the evidently item? we just have to take a picture of it. Should we take a picture it? of that? We want to look through the whole store before we take our pictures, okay? Okay. Let's see here. There's so many interesting things. Agent Trinity, um, what that note said about uh, there being so much history and uh, mystery and antiques, everything tells a story. Look at this right here. This is a clothes deal. You ring out clothes in here or something like that? This thing looks like it's over 100 years old, maybe. If it could tell a story about what it saw. What, what a story it could tell. Agent Axe found something. Look at this. It's a clock, but it's on wheels. That's so neat. That, it looks like there's a wire attached to it. It's an electrical clock. That has to do with voltage. Maybe that's it, agents. I don't know. There's bolts back here. There's a bolt. Oh, no way. Where? There's bolts back there? There's bolts to like, if you turn it, it turns the hand. Tighten the bolts, okay? But it says to measure the volts. That doesn't measure volts. Hmm. Ugh. 
This is so hard. Oh, what are you looking at up here? Those are chess pieces. No way. Yeah, look, the king. Wow. I think this is a bishop. Maybe a knight. That is so neat. It is. That's incredible. Wow, what, what stories could they tell? What have they seen? What have you seen? Do you know D.B. Cooper? If they know D.B. Cooper. Mm. <laughs> I've seen him before, but I'm not going to tell you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> and battle a, axe. A battle axe? Oh, it is a broken off battle axe. <laughs> and then look at that, Daddy. It's a pickaxe. See, it's a pickaxe. Oh, yeah. And then this is a tea Be kettle. Careful. This oh is an gosh. old real There's so tea many kettle. cool things here. Oh, look at this trap right here. <gasps> that looks like it could really bite you good. Man. Okay. <gasps> look, this says a lapse on it. That's in the riddle. There's <gasps> a timer. No way. There's bolts in the back. Eight of Trinity. Bolts in the back, right here. As time elapses, elapsed time, time meter. meter. <gasps> Volts, look, it says volts right there. I think we found it, Agents. Eight of Trinity, five. Yes. yes, take a picture. Take okay, a take picture. a picture. So we found the first clue, we think. Can, can we uh, check our work and see if we did it good? Um, We can do it now. Okay, Agents, I can't wait to see if we got the first clue right. So let's see, okay, let's show her the photo. All right, did we? That's it. Yes, yes, we did it. Okay, what? all right, we're on the wow, next clue. Wow, okay? I'm impressed. Thank you. Okay, number this is so two. exciting. This yes, number two. Easier. All right, these two rooms right through here. All right, read clue number two, loud and clear. Do the math and go the distance. Use this tool on your waist, for instance. I think I have an idea of what it could be, but I don't know where to find it. So, so fun, agents. They have a Snoopy snow cone maker. When I was a kid, I had one of this. A Snoopy snow cone maker. It's <laughs> cool. Lamp right here. There's another lamp. I love lamp. Um, oh, well, hello, you two. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm Agent Tex, and I'm looking for a clue. Do you know of anything around here that you can wear on your waist? Oh, uh, well, I'm wearing my pants on my waist. I'm wearing my skirt on my waist. Oh, okay. Well, tell me if you find anything, okay? We're agents. We solve mysteries. Yeah, sure you do. Huh. You don't look like you could solve a mystery. That wasn't nice. They're mean. They're so mean. Someone says, what are you laughing at? What are you mean to me? Oh, they need to have some manners training. Exactly. We should visit more often. Yes. Show mm -hmm. them Love is kindness. the key, agents. Love, Love is the key. Love, then they'll be nicer. Love and kindness. Oh, look at this. It's a compass. This is That's only... really cool. That's a Doobie Cooper clue. Oh. What is that? Agent and Ninja. Mayor the Dents? Mayor the... Like measure. Oh, measure. Oh my goodness. It says do the math and go the distance. Use this tool on your waist, for instance. Yes, you, you can measure your waist with a measuring deal. This is so That's But it said it goes around your waist. Yeah, try it. Go around your waist. See if you can measure it. Yeah. Go around. Let's see. Measure your waist. And be very gentle. Mm. It's a very old mm. antique. Okay, wow. It goes around yeah. me. Measure your waist. Oh, that's so neat. You can roll it up. That is awesome. I think this is it. All right. Really? Okay, let's take a picture of this. There we go. Snap. Okay. All right, agents, come on. Let's go show Teresa. Okay, so we think that we found the second clue, and Agent a Ninja here found it. So, Agent Ninja, why don't you show her what you found? Can you show the picture? Show the picture. Ah. That's it. It is? Yay! Yes. You, you guys are getting <laughs> Good. That's awesome! Good job! Okay. All right, Agent Axe, well, where's the next clue? Room three. Which room? Which room? Um, three. Okay, where's room three? Know. Follow Agent Axe. Let's follow him. Follow that agent. We are going to solve this. this. I'm so excited. This is the first square. We're in the first square. Mm -hmm. We go to the second square, the second and then square. we move into the third room. Okay, move into the third room. Dude, so, Axel, okay. you're so good at this. Nice agent Axe is so good at this Daddy, because of uh, Minecraft, at, maybe. I'm good at blocks oh, because blocks. Minecraft. Oh, that does look like blocks. Minecraft blocks. That's, it looks like Tetris, too. Read the next clue loud and clear. Best friends with a camper and a damper, but only near a river that might make them shiver. Best friends with a camper and a damper? Hmm. But only near a river that might make them shiver. Hmm. Man, this is a big room, Agents. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Wow. So, wait. 
So not in the glass not case. That. Okay, you go. A note. A note? Where? Oh. It says how much it costs. Uh, Blue Rose Porcelain, three ninety nine. <laughs> it tells us how much it costs. Oh. But it does look like a super mystery note. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Best friends for a camper. What do you need when you're camping? A damper. a damper. A damper is something they used to call like for lamps. Like you, you use a damper to uh, a lantern. Maybe a lantern. Oh, there is a lantern up there. Okay. All right, there's a lantern. But what about the river making you shiver thing? Oh, here's another lantern right here. This is a much bigger lantern. Thermos, camp lantern, thermos, king thermos. Do not throw crush. Camp lantern. There's a military outfit right there. Uh, canteen, that's for camp. Oh, oh, hello, sir. You look like you're getting old. River make weird. you shiver. <laughs> Burf. Oh, shiver. Agents, there's something here. It's kind of freaking me out. Damper lamper river shiver. Ah, this is really hard. Damper lamper river shiver. We'll just make a song on it. Damper lamper river shiver. We're never gonna do it. What? We're never gonna get it done if never you keep messing around. Never say never, Agent X. Never say never. So. Oh, there's some string. You you need string to save yourself in the river. That's true. No, yeah. but the string well, will if you had some string, uh, yeah, but it'd be better than nothing for sure. If you had, if you fell in the river. Agent Trinity just mm -hmm. looked up a damper, and a damper is something that restricts airflow. And when you're camping, you need a lantern, you need light, and so a damper for a lantern, it would restrict airflow so the oxygen goes away, and when the oxygen goes away, the light burns mm -hmm. out. So agents, I think it is a lantern, so we're gonna have to take a picture over here, snap a shot of those right there. It's uh, not it. It's not it? You don't think so? No. Let's go show her. Okay, Teresa. We think it might be a lantern. Nope. There's so many of them. There's not. <sighs> Let's read the clue again, okay? Best friends with a camper in a damper, but only near a river that might make them shiver. <sighs> Can you give us any extra clues? What's a river made out of? Water? Water? River's made out of water. Damper. I told you, damper clothes. It's like you get in the river, you get damper. And then you use a damp. lamp. You get damp. You so get yeah. Damp. You get damp from water. You get damp That's from water. That's my only clue. Okay, we're looking for some kind of boat or damper. Oh, maybe uh, uh, waders. Waders. This is the most difficult one yet, for sure. Oh, it's a trencher. That is so cool. It's old. It looks exactly wow, like trencher. Wow, that is so awesome. It is. It's it's the older one. <laughs> if you're a camper, what would you need to hold water? Mm, a canteen. A canteen to dampen your thirst. Does that make sense? Daddy. I don't know. Daddy, um, let's Daddy, try to find a canteen. Daddy, I'm, I'm gonna have to take my backpack off because I'm hungry. That's so true. We need we to eat some snacks. We need some adventure snacks. Do we have any adventure snacks? Yep, I only so, have. What do you have? I have three pancakes River. and I didn't bring them. Three pancakes. Can I have a bite of one of them? You can have a whole one. No way. Oh. Agent and Ninja's gonna share her pancake with me. I can't wait. Let me look. Someone stole Agent and Ninja's pancakes. They're not in here. Oh no. They might have fallen out. Somebody stole them. Or they fell out. Or there's a thief. We got another mystery solved. The mystery of the missing pancakes. Here's a canteen. Really old one. Obviously, we're in an antique store. Oh, canteen. Yeah. A damp. Is this a damper? No. A damper. No, this isn't. But maybe dampening your thirst. Yes. So you're not thirsty anymore. Maybe. Because you fill it up in the river. It may be. Yeah. That's true. All right, agents. I think we are on to this. Let's see. All right, agents. Come on. Let's go. Agent X doesn't think it is. I hope it is. I think it is, Agent X. That's it. Yes! 
so yes. dirty. Excuse us, sorry. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Okay, so we are on to which clue? Clue number four. Okay. This is room five. Room five, okay. Keep going this way. Now we're in room four. We're in room four? Okay, let me see, let me see. Yes, you're right, because look, that little curve thing, that's this right here. All right, these next. Read clue number four. While my modern day twin may be powered by battery piston, I'm powered by body twisting. Body so it's twisting. something we make electricity with moving our bodies or something? Oh, uh, body shake. twisting. Okay, yeah. Let's find a clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an old candy machine. Oh, candy machine. Those look wow, like old jelly that's beans. That's not even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd eat antique, antique jelly beans. Jelly beans. Body twist. What is that? Uh, oh, who's that? <gasps> <gasps> Imposter. Maybe you can go in there. <gasps> Narnia. <laughs> 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 okay. What is this? A saxophone, maybe. What do you think about a hula hoop? Oh, a hula hoop. <laughs> do you know any? Piston powered hula, hula hoop. I don't know. Piston powered <laughs> hula hoop. Body <laughs> twisting. Uh, Hi, Daddy. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, oh, look at that chair. That's a nice chair. You know those things um, where you twist the back of them and then they walk forward? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A wind up toy. A wind up toy, maybe. Oh, I have an idea. Let's ask Sock Monkey. Sock Monkey, what do you think? Have you seen anything body twisting around here? I'm a sock monkey. I don't talk. But you just talked. I heard him talk. Sock monkey, you talked. You better talk some more. Where's this body twisting thing? I will not talk. I will say nothing. I am sock monkey. Sock monkey. Always withholding the information from us. Oh yeah, beautiful jewelry here. What is this? That's a cool looking rock. Body twisted. Oh, agents, look at these beautiful rocks here. Oh, so many beautiful Wow, look, it's a clock rock. Oh. It's a clock rock. That's cool. Rocking and clocking. <laughs> uh huh. There's also this, and a duck, and another duck, and another duck, and another duck. There's a whole family of ducks here. Look at this. They're, they're wood ducks, because they're made out of wood. <laughs> Check it out. We've got the mystery machine here. Scooby Doo's going to help us solve this mystery. Check it out, Scooby Doo. What do you think, Scooby-Doo? I can't understand Scooby-Doo, I never could. Body twisting. We're in luck. These two really old dolls here. What have you seen? Have you seen anything? I haven't seen anything. I promise. Me neither, I promise too. They're kinda creepy. <laughs> really creepy. Let's Daddy, get out of his room. Around, okay, yes, we are doing a lot of lollygagging. Twisting? Yes. Piston? Twist. Twisting. Like an old whisk? Oh yeah, look, this you can is so spin neat. That. Look at this. You use your body to twist that. Body yeah. twisting. Mm. Ace and Trinity. That's that's great. Piston. Hmm. It's Let's just my hand out. rotating. I don't know if that counts as body right, twisting. Well, that's that's Daddy. definitely an option. Daddy. We'll come back to that Daddy. if you don't find anything Daddy. else, okay? What is Daddy. it? What is We're it? better run we found something scary. One of the dolls said that? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Talking dolls, never good. Oh, look at this. Do not touch this machine. Oh, uh, oh, oh you need to text. It's, it's so hard not to touch things whenever it says don't touch this machine. So Axel, you had a great idea earlier. A wind up toy. Mm -hmm. But what else do you wind up? A clock? Ah. Yeah. Dude, Agent Axe and Agent Trinity just, yes. Okay, wind up clock, or a timer. Yeah, wind up timer, which is kind of like a clock. Okay, so agents, I think we have a clue. Let's look for, look for a clock. Clock, clock, clock. clock. Uh, here's a clock right here. Is this a wind up clock? Let's see, you can only tell by looking at the back. There's nothing to wind it up. So that's, that's not, uh, I don't think that's it. Oh, oh, this is a clock right here. Is it wind up? Uh, is it wind up? 
Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Try to wind it up. Hmm. Try to wind it up. Oh. Whoa. Okay, it has this deal in the back you turn. You wind it up. Take a picture of it. Take a picture? What do you think? Let's take a picture. Okay. Picture. I like that noise. That makes a cool noise, isn't it? Such a sweet song, lullaby. I feel like going to sleep. This is gonna. I'm trying to. <sighs> okay, it stopped. I'm awake now. That 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 lulled me to sleep for sure. Okay, everyone. There's a new mystery to solve. Where is Waldo? I found him. You found Waldo? Yeah. Already? Where? Yeah. Waldo, there you are. We've been looking for you everywhere. Your arm looks really twisted up there. But does that hurt, Waldo? Waldo, say something. Waldo. I think Waldo's a her. <laughs> body twisting, body twisting. Uh, twisting? Is, is that like a, it's an old school drill. Body twisting. Battery piston. Body twisting, yeah, look. You look. twist your body to make it. Here's another one right here. Here's another one. Look at that. Oh, it's okay. bigger though. Yeah. Let's take a picture of both of them. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Okay, let's take a picture of both of them, okay? Let's take a picture of both of them. Alright, ready? Take a picture. Let's see if this is it. Okay, I think we found it. Is this it? Yep. It is? Yes! Yes! Okay, we got it. Yes, Agent Axe found it. Nice All work, right. Agent Axe. Okay, you fine. You her now before uh, you even started walking back there because I heard you say a hand drill. So do you get the riddle? Because now you plug them into the wall and they uh -huh. do it for you. Battery piston. Whereas this here, you have to... You have to, to twist your body. Uh -huh. Good work, Agent X. Give five. Okay. Yeah, yeah we only have one well, clue left. Like Just I'll one. All right, Agent X. So Room one. Room one. Over, 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 over. Room five. Room five. Okay, we're in room five now. Room four. Room, room five. five. Okay. All right, agents. Room five's over there, and here, and in there. What's the riddle? Okay, what's the riddle? Although missing my rod, I'm still real good. Rod. Fishing rod. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Agent X already solved that one, probably. Rod, reel, fishing pole. Look for a fishing pole. Here, Dad, okay. hold this, please. Missing my rod. Oh, <gasps> there's already some fishing stuff right here. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're just looking for a fishing reel, not even the rod, probably, right? There's a man right there. Maybe he knows. Have you seen a rod and reel? No. No, I haven't. Not one, not one, and I won't tell you even if I did. What? Why is everyone These, so cranky? I know, they're, they're so cranky. Sure. Maybe it's because they've been stuck in this building. It they want someone to buy them. Antique. Yeah. Mm hmm. Friends. Oh. Oh boy, I'm friendly. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> you found I'm something? Let me see, let me see. A bunch of reels. Oh, a bunch of reels. There's a bunch of fishing reels there. Okay, all right. Let me see, let me see. Let's see. I was guessing it was the one you're looking at. You think it was that one? that one? Okay, all right, well, let's take a picture of this and see. All right, Teresa. Oh, here's another one right here. Is that it? It is, oh. yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what do you... You were just standing right here. You just happened to stand right here. So did I wasn't giving you any clues. You weren't, you weren't. I was you on said my no. way back. She wouldn't even let us get away with one. Well, no. with all of those. No. Wow. You and that's part a of a difficult game here. <laughs> and boy, we really sharpened our intelligence here. And that's what training is, agents. Yes. This has been so fantastic. I feel so much smarter now. Thank you so much, Teresa. But one thing you always have to remember is you really have to pay attention to the whole clue mm -hmm. right okay yes we, yeah some of those we didn't we we didn't pay attention to the entire thing we only looked at half of it so right that's a yep. good idea yeah all of these clues that we've solved in the past agents those were difficult and going through this training process really helped to sharpen our intelligence on this the clue what clue? oh yes the clue okay Teresa so we brought the last clue that we found that we're stumped on on the DB Cooper case and there is the last clue Right there.
there's one word, well actually two words in here that really think this is all going to make a lot of sense. Okay, so is that the clue that you promised us? This is the clue. Okay, all right. Can we open it right here? You is sure okay? can. Okay, open it up. What's it say? Pops. Okay, okay. Like, be careful. Don't, don't rip it, okay? Agents, this is so exciting. Isn't oh, Ninja so nervous? She's eating her badge. Don't eat your badge, Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it? It's a note. <gasps> Did he put What does it say? What is it? What is it? I can't What's see. That? It's a picture. Is that D.B. Cooper? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Can I see it? Okay, it's a picture of a man long time ago in some kind of uh, military uniform? It almost looks like Al. Al? Oh, like our neighbor Al? Al? Yeah, like our neighbor. You know him? Is this Al? It says Al on the back. He's our no neighbor. way! It does say Al I right there. AFROTC, the Air Force ROTC. The experts think that DB Cooper might have been a part of some military or uh, CIA or the Air Force. And he had to have known because he jumped out of the plane. He knew a lot about the plane agents. So maybe he was military. In 1959, never forget secrets of the deep wood. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, look, look what it says. Pick taken by DB. Wait a minute. Take him. If the pick was taken by DB. That's not DB. But what does DB stand for? DB himself. could mean something else. It doesn't necessarily mean DB Cooper. Agents, this mystery just <laughs> got crazy. <laughs> wow. How long have you had this? Well, when I gave you my last clue, it was after that. And I didn't know what to do with it. Now that I've read this. <sighs> This does make sense now. There's a lot of woods out there, as we all know. Yes, Agents D.B. Cooper, they think, landed here in the Pacific Northwest. But then he hid out from the FBI if he did land, if he made it. Uh, he could be hiding anywhere, in any wood, come to think of it. Even not even in this area. Not even in this area. He, he could be hiding out on the other side of the world. I, I don't know if the four of you are... I mean, it took you... It took you a couple hours to Just find to these, here. yeah. But you did, you did good. Do you think we should go Two. search in the deep wood? Where? I think you're gonna need help. I think we're gonna need help too. Maybe you could help us. Yes, there's thousands of you all around the world. Is that what you were thinking? Yep. I think Teresa's right, agents. If we all look in the deep wood, maybe we could find D.B. Cooper or clues for D.B. Cooper to solve the mystery. And Two of us couldn't do it, the FBI couldn't do it, but maybe thousands of people can. And you know what? If you want to stop in, I can help you prepare for it. Th th these agents? Mm -hmm. So you can train them too, like you trained us? Agents! Did you hear that? That is so nice of you, wow. Teresa is offering to train you. Meaning training them like you trained us for the, with the clues and everything? Yes, yes. That is so exciting, agents. How would you like to come here to First Street Antiques in Kalama, Washington and train with Teresa? Oh, I almost forgot. Axel, come here. What did you want to ask Teresa? We need to get her a badge. He was saying we need to get you a badge. Would you be willing to join forces with us as an adventure agent? Of course. And, and, and get a badge? Oh, yes! Agents, this is awesome. We are adding agents all the time, and Teresa, she has massive resources here. This is incredible, and she's the reason why we had all these clues in the first place for the D.B. Cooper mystery. Think about what you want your agent name to be, and we'll get you a badge, okay? Okay. Teresa, thank you so much for the clue, for the training. We cannot thank you enough. You bet. We really appreciate this. And if anyone wants to come and train talk to your parents there's a lot of stuff in here this is so exciting we need your parents with you in order mm -hmm. to come in here yep i don't know <clears throat> what that says um and i think oh yeah, i might know my name your agent name <laughs> what what is it agent tb 
TB. Oh. That is cool. <laughs> Agent TB. I like it. Agent TB. That is cool. My last name is Bowen. Agent TB, welcome yep. to the Adventure Agents. We are going to get you your Adventure Agent badge and bring it here. We are so excited. Yay. And we are so excited for you to come and train here, Agents. Okay. That is so What did you get? An obsidian sphere. Let me see. Agent Axe got an obsidian sphere. This is real obsidian that they smoothed down into a sphere. As you can see, Teresa has so many incredible things here. So if you come by to do training and something catches your eye, be sure to support a local small business like Teresa's and snag it up. Bye, Teresa. Thank Bye. you. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, goodbye, Agent Honey. Goodbye. Thank you so much for the training, Agent Honey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Adventure Agents, we are back here at our property in Washington. What do you got over there? Salmon berries. Salmon berries? No right way. Oh, thank you, Axel. I really appreciate that. Axel is really good at sharing. He really is. Mm -hmm. he always when it comes to food. food. Okay, so everyone gather around, look at the clue, okay? Okay, let's so look at this. So this is like the clue. It. It's an old picture. It's a man in a military uniform, and it says AL, A L dash A F R O T C, which is Air Force R O T C, 1959. Never forget Secrets of the Deep Wood. And then pick taken by D B. Now, hmm. that. That's is what is interesting. Mm -hmm. Th that's interesting, and the owl part is interesting because our number one suspect for DB Cooper, everyone, is actually our neighbor Al. And the reason for that is, first of all, Al is old enough to have been DB Cooper. Second of all, Al he lives all by himself out in the woods in an off-grid cabin. And guess what? Al retired. Our neighbor Al retired right around the time that DB Cooper did the deed. Yeah. Now, our neighbor Al is an amazing neighbor. He is very kind and friendly and helpful. And so we just love him so much. But we can't help but notice he seems like he could be D.B. Cooper. He even kind of looks yeah. like Yeah, and we found lots baby. of clues related to that that push in that direction. Like we found a parachute in his house in a briefcase. Yeah. What does this mean, Agent? Is Al friends with D.B.? Agent Trinity, maybe that's what it is. Maybe Al isn't D.B. Cooper at all. Maybe. But he's the no. same age, so they could have been really close friends. Maybe they Lesson. went to kindergarten together. Maybe, yes. And kindergarten. they learned ABCs. First grade, And they're even. one, two, threes. And two plus two. I don't even know what two plus two is. Three. D.B. Cooper was a very smart person. That we know for yeah. sure. Yeah. Two plus two is three. <sighs> Agent Trinity, always on it. Some no. a, a, two no. plus two is not three. No. Wait, 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 what is two plus two? Two plus two is four. Oh. Yes, because you're four. That's why she knew That's it. true. I'm not four anymore, so I don't know that. Give me five. Agent and Ninja. And half that is four nice. And one. Agent X, what do you think we should do with this clue? What does it say again? Al's the game master and he's friends with DB Cooper. <gasps> Whoa! Boom. Mind blown. Mind blown, Agent. Secrets of the Deep Wood. You know what? No one ever found anything from DB Cooper uh, evidence other than almost $6,000 worth of money on Tina Bar that we went to. We went to Tina Bar. And $6,000 of that money, confirmed by the FBI, was found on Tina Bar. Other than that, nothing else has been found, agents. So, where did DB Cooper go? Here's an idea. Here's an idea. No, no, tell me your idea. He, he went out and hid in the deep wood. Exactly, that's yes. what I was going to what? say. So he could be out Secrets. there somewhere. We have a mission for you, agents. You need to get out into the deep wood. If you're an adult, be Is careful. If you're a kid, don't just go wandering in the deep woods without your parents. It can be very dangerous, okay? But we need your help, agents. Wherever you are in the world, D.B. Cooper could be hiding or could have hidden in your woods, and you could find evidence of him there. He may have gone to Australia to get as far away from the FBI as possible. You never know. So please help us get out in the deep woods with your parents' permission if you're a kid and find some D.B. Cooper clues. We'll put a link down below to our Adventure Agents Facebook page and Instagram so you can let us know if you find any D.B. Cooper clues. And also, agents, for any of you who want to go and train with Teresa at the antique store just like we did, check in the description down below and we will show you how, for a limited time, you can go and train with Teresa. Because I bet there are just mm -hmm. an unlimited amount of secrets in the deep wood. So what should we do with this clue? Should we talk to him about this photo or should we just hold on to it and keep it secret for now? What do you think? Talk to him. Talk to him? 
Yep. All right, agents. In one of our next episodes, we are going, I guess, to talk to D.B. Cooper oh. about this photo of, that was taken by D.B. Cooper. And on our next episode, agents, we are headed to the deep wood to see if we can find some D.B. Cooper clues.